Hello, it's Johnny Boy. I'm releasing a new script that allows mission editors to place units and use waypoints to move AI units through places they normally wouldn't be able to uh, navigate. They wouldn't be able to move because of their pathfinding or they wouldn't do the right thing because they wouldn't know whether to crawl or crouch or climb or whatever. So here we have three units placed and this unit has waypoints and they're scripted waypoints and the scripted waypoints for each place he's going to move to you need to place these two statements into the on activation which is lock the waypoint and then call my script and uh, the movement waypoints will respect the speed so this is the the normal walking or the kind of the fast walking speed and the behavior will be respected as well so they'll should have their weapon lowered if they're going uh, if they're not in combat or raised if they're in combat and uh, the next so he's gonna move here and then he's gonna go through this low thing so you want him to crouch and you will add an extra call that tells the unit to use the available stance of middle so he will crouch when he goes through that point so you can adjust their stances using this uh, this variable if you want and uh, you can copy waypoints so I'm kinda simulating a stack as if this was a stack that needed to, to, to uh, crouch through this this obstacle and then go up and over this bridge and then crouch again because you have this low wall you wanna hide behind and finally you wanna crawl underneath this obstacle so and to simulate a stack, even though these units aren't in the same group, uh, the first unit is using the waypoint, but the second unit is simply going to copy his waypoints using the copy waypoints command. And so, same with this guy. He'll copy the waypoints. And so then they'll, all three of them will actually follow the same path, and it'll look like they're kind of a stack moving through, through a, a series of obstacles. And that could also be inside of a building. Uh, units traversing buildings look really dumb which is super annoying so here we have a unit that's gonna enter this building he's gonna open the door he's gonna go up the stairs and uh, normal vanilla AI forces the unit to walk slowly with his gun up even if he's not in danger and that looks that's immersion breaking it looks really dumb but using my scripted waypoints if you script the waypoints to come through this building you can have him move quickly and if he's in safe mode or careless mode he does not detect enemy he'll have his weapon lowered and he'll look great so if you were having a mission where uh, the player was hiding in the woods and he was observing this building with binoculars you would see this guy walking normally through the building and come out on this balcony and stand there for a, a bit because I added a second parameter here saying pause for 20 seconds he'll he'll stand here and look out here for a while and then he'll walk back through the building and out and then there's a cycle waypoint he will continue so you can move through buildings anywhere in the building not just on the scripted paths that the uh, the building developers provided anywhere in the building you can move using the scripted waypoint technique using my scripts and also rooftops or large rocks or any object that is normally not navigable by AI it becomes navigable navigable if uh, you use my waypoints so this rooftop the AI wouldn't be able to run on the best you could do normally as a mission editor is place a sniper on a roof and disable his path so he would stay in one place statically and shoot but uh, using my script he can now walk the perimeter of this building and pause at certain points and look out and then resume his patrol uh, once he detects enemies he'll he'll start shooting and uh, he'll pause longer to shoot if he knows about you and then he'll still continue his path but now he'll be running quickly and acting more uh, more combat like making it a more dynamic situation when a sentry on top of a building spots you let's see it in action I'm set to captive true so they don't detect me as an enemy yet. So you got built guys on the rooftop. We're going to walk the perimeter of the rooftop. This guy's going to open the door and walk in. Notice he's walking in a careless fashion. That's impossible with vanilla AI. He's going to walk inside. He's going to walk into the hallway, come back, open the door, go out on the balcony. Gonna open 
that door, and he's going to hang out for 20 seconds and observe before he returns his, his cycle and sentry patrol. He's going to hang out for 20 seconds, and he's going to go back out, come back down the stairs, and then cycle and repeat. And we've seen these guys on the rooftop are all walking nicely. Also, you note that uh, as a mission editor, you didn't have to do anything for him to open that door. My code detected the fact there was a door there, and he opened it automatically. Same for ladders. There was a waypoint at the bottom of that ladder, and my code detected the ladder, and he started climbing the ladder. That could have been an editor place ladder, or a ladder that's built into a building. He's going to return to the ladder, and it'll detect that he's at the top of a ladder, and he will climb down the ladder. There he goes. Now here's the, the pseudo stack of guys going through the same series of waypoints. And he crouches by the low wall. They're following the same path. And he'll hopefully go prone and crawl underneath that obstacle. There we go. So for cinematics, you could guys have crawling underneath wire. And they're being shot at while they're doing it. So that sent me to an enemy and watch their, how they behave in combat. So I've got a little trigger to set me as an enemy. Alright. Now he's gonna go inside. He's gonna and he'll show up here. He's gonna follow that path. And he's going faster now. And he'll come down the stairs. He'll hang out to fight a little while, then he'll resume his path and go back upstairs, and he'll come out on the balcony again. There he goes. And these rooftop guys. Now on. And uh, having guys move around on rooftops and shoot really adds, you know, a three dimension. <laughs> Third dimension to all this. There's that guy. And he came out on the balcony. And he, he didn't have time to shoot me, so he's going to go back in. And he's still following his waypoints. That's good enough. Anyway, as you can see, uh, combat around buildings, on top of buildings, using ladders, crawling under obstacles, that can really add uh, more dimensions to your to an a scripted AI combat situation and uh, make it more immersive, I think. I think it's uh, this is made for mission makers. It's not going to be a mod and it's not going to be dynamically. The paths won't be calculated dynamically. You as the the mission editor need to uh, go in and you know very carefully place these paths but I think uh, mission editors should use it and should enjoy it Johnny boy out